Professor Marjorie Taylor Greene has issued a statement of introduction to the work of articles on the impeachment of Joe Biden. The articles relate, in particular, to Biden's actions in Ukraine and abuse of power, due to which his son Hunter gained the ability to receive illegal money from Russia and China. Statement Joe Biden cannot be president. His model of power as vice president of the Obama administration is long and troubling. The president has demonstrated that he will do everything he can to help his son Hunter and fill the family's pockets with cash from corrupt foreign energy companies. The case against President Joe Biden is vast in details. Joe Biden abused the power of the office of the vice president, enabling bribery and other high crimes and misdemeanors, by allowing his son to influence the domestic policy of a foreign nation and accept vanus benefits, including financial compensation, from foreign nationals in exchange for certain favors. The evidence of widespread knowledge, corruption, and collusion on behalf of the Biden family with foreign nationals is clear and compelling. As Vice President, Joe Biden was the senior Obama administration official overseeing anti-corruption efforts in Ukraine. Hence, any illegal activity involving corruption conducted by Hunter Biden with Sinner in relation to Ukraine would fall under the purview of the Office of Vice President Biden and the Obama State Department as anti-corruption efforts. In fact many State Department officials within the Obama administration repeatedly registered reservations about Hunter Biden's role on the board of a corrupt company. Thus, any instances of corruption on behalf of Hunter Biden viaduct his role as a board member of the Ukrainian-operated Bunsma energy firm were intentionally not investigated or covered up. In 2016, Ukraine's top anti-corruption prosecutor, Viktor Shokin, had an active and ongoing investigation into Burisma and its owner, Mykola Zlachevsky. At the time Hunter Biden continued to serve on Burtzma's board of directors. According to news reports I and Vice President Biden threatened to withhold $1 billion in United States loan guarantees if Ukraine's leaders did not dismiss Shokin. After that Ukraine's parliament fired Shokin. During his father as vice presidency. Hunter Biden built many business relationships with foreign nationals and received millions of dollars from foreign sources, seemingly in exchange for access to his father. The financial transactions which Hunter engaged in illustrate serious counterintelligence and extortion concerns relating to Hunter Biden and his family. President Biden gravely endangered the security of the United States and its institutions of government. Through blatant nepotism, he enabled his son to influence foreign policy and financially benefit as a result of his role as vice president. He supported his son engaging in collusion with Chinese Communist Party-linked officials. He allowed his son to trade appointments with his father and other high-ranking administration officials in exchange for financial compensation. He permitted his son to take money from Russian oligarchs, including Elena Bacharina, the wife of the former mayor of Moscow. The statement itself does not reveal anything new, it is a familiar affair. It is necessary to show the people that they voted almost unanimously for the impeachment of Trump, an honest and decent person, and Biden, sold to China, with many violations and precedents, crimes, will remain without impeachment, because Democrats need him to hold the presidency. Hear Harris. With every such move, stupid law or decision, people around the world are beginning to understand the difference between Trump and Joe's curve. This is very important now. By the way, do the Democrats really need Joe Biden as president? Indeed, in the event of his impeachment or death, about which Biden wept in a recent speech, Kamala Harris will take his place. Maybe she will suit someone even more than the constantly hanging sleepy Joe.